Hi everybody! We've got another story about a young boy that God chooses to use. Let's read about David. All right, a shepherd boy is chosen when in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16. After a while, God sent Samuel to choose a new king. He traveled to Bethlehem and visited the home of a man named Jesse because God had told him that one of Jesse's sons should take Saul's place as king. Samuel told Jesse that God wanted to choose one of the boys to serve him in a special way. Jesse brought seven strong, handsome sons to stand before Samuel. They all looked as if they would make great kings. But God spoke to Samuel as Jesse's son stood before him. God told him, do not look at his face or the height of his body. Man judges by the outward looks, but God looks at the heart. After Samuel had seen all these young men, he told Jesse, None of these is the man God wants me to meet. Are these all the children you have? Then Jesse told Samuel about his youngest son. I have one more son. He's just a boy. He's out in the field canning for our sheep. Samuel had them call to the boy to the house. His name was David, a word that meant darling, and he was a handsome boy. He may have been about 15 years old. As soon as Samuel saw David, God told him that this boy was the one to be king. Samuel gave David a blessing and poured olive oil on his head, but he didn't tell anyone that God had chosen David to be the new king. From that day on, God's spirit was strong in David's life. God gave him courage and wisdom. He grew so strong that he killed wild bears and lions that tried to harm his sheep. He played a harp and made up beautiful songs about the goodness of God. One of the songs of David is called the Shepherd's Psalm, and that is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. He gives me everything I need. He lets me lie down in fields of green grass. He leads me beside quiet waters. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for the honor of his name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. You are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You prepare a feast for me right in front of my enemies. You pour oil on my head. My cup runs over. I am sure that your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Oh, that's a good story about using a young kid to bring God glory. Um, so it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside. God created you, and he made you beautiful and handsome and perfect, but he cares more about what you do on the inside. How do you love people? How do you take care of people? What kind words do you say? He cares more about what you think on the inside than what you wear or you know what you what you look like. He loves you and he thinks you're awesome just the way he made you, but he wants you to have a good inside, all the the good stuff that um, make people happy and make God's heart happy. Let's pray. God, thank you for creating us, even though we don't think that we're pretty or handsome all the time, or maybe we don't like our hair or the shoes we wear. You made us perfect for a reason, so help us to love us the way you love us. Help us to love ourselves, God, because you love us, but change our inside, God. Take all the bad stuff out and fill it with your goodness so that we can be more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, it was good to read a story with you. I love you and God loves you more. Bye.